What's up guys? I am here for a new video. I am so sorry I've been gone recently. I have been kind of like, you know, um, kind of trying to find myself really. I mean, I don't know. I have a lot to rant about tonight and I really, really need to get it out. Like, I'm just like, I don't know. I've been in this like weird mood in the past couple days. It's probably because I'm on my cycle, but you know, I, I just needed I need to get this out, like, so bad. But anyway, alright, well, we, this is gonna be a long video, probably like 20 minutes long, because honestly, like, I have so much to say, it's not even funny. Okay, so there's a bunch of shit that has been going on in the world that have pissed me the fuck off lately, so that's what I want to talk about. And the first one is Camila Morin. Well, I mean, I'm not pissed off about it, it's just, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like, um, a lot of the fans are taking it a little too far and it's making Camila and Lauren uncomfortable and that's not what I want to do to them. I want to respect Camila and Lauren's privacy as much as possible. I love them to death. They're my favorite people ever. Like, let's be real. They are amazing. But, you know, like, I want Camila and Lauren to be together, like, romantically. I'm a big Cameron shipper. But I'm not going to, like, force it on them, you know? I'm not going to be like, be together, be together, be together. No, I'm not going to do that. Like, I want to respect them as much as possible. Like, if they're together, fucking who cares? Like, <laughs> like who gives a shit? Like, if they are together, let them be together. Don't force it on them and make them uncomfortable to the point where it's just, they're not, like, I've heard, like, I saw a bunch of fucking things on Tumblr about, like, I follow a bunch of, like, uh, Fifth Harmony, like, Cameron stuff on, on t Tumblr, and there's this one girl that I follow constantly. She's always constantly posting. I don't know her name, but she goes by Cameron Shippers, I think. That's her thing, and she's always on there, and I always read the little, uh, like, anonymous, uh, questions, and she has answers, and I always read those, and I saw a thing today that kind of concerned me a little bit about the whole fandom. I love being in the fandom, trust me. Like, I, I love Fifth Harmony to death. They're amazing people. I would love to meet them one day. But just this concerns me very, very much. Like, honestly, um, I saw a thing of a Cameron shipper, and Lauren commented on it at the bottom, and it said, it said something like, I, I don't know, like an accident or something. Like, I mean, I don't know if she means, like, I don't think she was being rude. I think, like, some of the Cameron shippers are, like, saying, like, she was being rude and saying she regrets being friends with Camila or something or, like, being in a relationship with her or doing whatever, being in that, you know, somewhat romantic friendship that they have or a special bond or whatever. I'm, I don't think she's, I don't think she meant to be wording it like that. I think she, I think most of the Cameron shippers are kind of taking it a little too seriously and they kind of need to stop with that. And yes, I'm wearing clothes, by the way. I just have a bra on. But I just need to look up here because my boobs are kind of big. So anyway, um, so I think that the Cameron Shippers just need to calm down a little bit. They, The fandom has been crazy lately. It's been like, I don't know how many times Cameron has trended on Twitter this year alone. Like, I don't know, like the second time this year. And it's only six months into the year. Like, like they're going to probably be trending again probably a couple more times this year but honestly I just think the fans need to tell tone it down a little bit I mean yes I'm a I'm a big Cameron shipper I want them to be together and I hope it's real I I'm just waiting for one of them to be like yeah I'm I'm gay or I'm bi like like honestly if Lauren came out as being bisexual and they were together like Honestly, I would hope everybody would support that because, let's be real, being gay now is not a not normal thing. It's a, a normal kind of thing now. People should be accepting of it. People are just, like, if you see, like, if you hear someone saying, like, yeah, I'm gay, they're just like, oh, okay. Like, it's not really, like, a non-normal thing now. Like, back in the day, it was like, oh, you're gay? Oh, my God. Like, I just think, like, I don't know. I think you guys need to respect their privacy and leave them alone. Because honestly, I just don't, I don't think you need to be forcing it upon them. They need to figure themselves out in their private life versus the fans trying to figure their life out 
like, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm trying to say. Like, the fans trying to figure it out for them. I just don't think that's right. I think, I think if Lauren and Camila want to be together romantically, let them be together. I don't understand. And, yes, there have been a bunch of controversy, drama, and that shit. Like, the fucking video of them kissing in the car. Like, like, who cares? Like, I mean, yeah, like, a lot of European countries, they fucking kiss on the cheek to say hello. You know, like, that's not a not normal thing there. Like, like, people are taking that to, like, like, oh my god, they kissed or something like that. Like, you know, like, I mean, I'm a low-key, like, oh my god, like, I really want them to be together, you know, I want to force upon them, but I'm not gonna be like those fucking people that are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna force it upon them all the time and that shit. No, I'm not doing that at all. Like, uh, there's been a bunch of fucking drama with that. It's just so annoying, especially with that kissing video. It's just, it's not real, guys. It's a fucking cheek. It, they kissed on the cheek. I don't think they actually kissed on the lips. And, like, if they did, I think the other girls would be kind of concerned if it was. But they're in Europe, so that happens often. They Most European countries do that anyway to begin with, so I don't understand why people are taking it so far, like... Y'all need to stop. Like, seriously. Like, and then, like, I don't know. Like, I've always, like, concerned about, like, the whole, like, you know, like, Lauren staring at Camila thing. And, like, Camila staring at Lauren. Or, like, you know, like, those videos on YouTube where they're, like, they make videos of, like, why ship Cameron part one, part three, part whatever. Like, you know, like, I, I saw one of them. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Okay, so, like, I guess, like, there was one reason, like... I guess it was, like, Camila looking at, like, the way Camila looks at Lauren's lips or something. I was like, uh, how is that a thing to ship Cameron, really? I mean, that's just, I don't know if you really look at your friend's lips like that, but, I mean, Camila just gets nervous, I think. I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's me. I think Camila probably just gets nervous during interviews and she just looks at random people's lips. I don't know, where she, like, looks and stares at, I don't know, she stares in the distance. I don't, who knows? It's just... Camila being Camila, you know, you gotta leave her alone. I mean, come on, let her do her own thing. She's her own damn person. She's 19 years old. She doesn't know who she is either. Like, let's be real. Like, I don't think even nobody knows who they are until they're, like, at least, at least they're, like, I don't know, probably 30, I would say. Maybe not even that. There's some 30-year-olds that don't even know who they are. Honestly, I don't think you know yourself until you discover yourself. Like, let's be real. Lauren or Camila don't know who they are. They are fucking young. They're, like, young like me. I'm 20, and Lauren's gonna be 20 in, like, less than two weeks. So, I think you guys are honestly, like, forcing it upon them to, like, be together. And, honestly, it's probably kind of ruining their friendship because you guys... I'm not saying all of the fans or anything. I think some of the came All of the, like, the fans that I became friends with in the fandom are amazing people, they're really cool, I really like them, they're really nice, but there's just some of them out there that are just kind of annoying, you know, like, they're just, I don't know, I feel like Lauren and Camille's friendship was not like it used to be, like, you know, like, it was like, their friendship was amazing and awesome, and, you know, they were like, cutesy together, and yeah, but now it's just kind of like there, you know, I mean, I don't know. It might be... It, I don't know. I think their friendship's still the same. But I don't know. Like, sometimes I feel like it's the same, but sometimes I don't. I don't know. But, yeah. I just think you guys need to leave um, Lauren and Camila alone. They just need to figure themselves out. And, like, if Lauren does come out as being bisexual, let her be bisexual. Who cares? Like, <laughs> like I know the paparazzi's gonna be crazy about that. And I bet paparazzi's already fucking crazy about, you know, is Cameron real? Are you with Camila Cabello? And, like, I bet they get so annoyed. I bet Camila and Lauren get so annoyed with the paparazzi asking them about that. Like, honestly, it doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me if Camila or Lauren left the group. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, I'm sorry. But I, I love Fifth Harmony. Trust me, I don't want them to break up at all. Trust me, I, I don't. I don't at all. But if it, if it happens, it fucking happens, guys. Like, don't blame them. That's their personal choice. Don't hash on them. Don't fucking Twitter fight them. Don't do any of that shit. Like, just let them be them. Maybe that's their fucking choice. Like, I, I don't know. I just get mad about, I just get mad about the, some of the Fifth Harmony fandom people because they just are just so, 
you know, like, forward. They're so, like, out there. They they get it out there, but still, it's like, some of them are just kind of over the top. And, like, some of the fandom, yeah, I don't know. Some of them are over the top, but some of them are really cool, and I've been friends with some of the people in the fandom, and I all the people that I'm friends with that are Cameron Shippers and, like, Fifth Harmony people and they're really cool, and I really like them, and they're really nice, and we talk about Cameron, we talk about Normani, we talk about everybody, we talk about all of the Fifth Harmony girls. We don't talk about just Cameron, we talk about everybody. Like, if you guys are as much of a fan as Fifth Harmony as I am, then you guys will understand. But, um, other news. So, anyway, let me conclude that. Guys, please, leave Lauren and Camila alone. Just let them figure themselves out. Let them be them. If one of them comes out as being bisexual, okay. Like, that's fine. Cool. Like, okay, whatever. Like, let them, if they want to be together and they announce it to the world and they actually, like, kiss on camera or something, amazing. That's going to be great. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'll be excited for that sex tape. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That'd be amazing. But, you know, I'm kidding. But, um, anyway, just leave them alone. Let them be, like, their private life is none of our business. So you guys need to leave them alone in their private life. They need to have their privacy, you know, what I'm saying. Just leave them alone. Uh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, in other news. So I think, okay, so do you know how many, okay, I am concerned about how many people have died recently in this month of June. Like Muhammad Ali, Kimbo Slice. Uh, who was that one guy? There was, there was like four people that died in like June, I think. Um, but freaking okay. The thing that pissed me off the most about about um the other night, last night. So Christina Grimmie had a concert last night, and she had her concert, and then she had a meet and greet afterwards. Someone fucking shot her. Someone fucking shot her. Like honestly, I am con so concerned about going to, like, concerts and meet and greets now, um, you can't go anywhere without feeling endangered for yourself and other people. Like, honestly, it's so fucking scary to go anywhere, really. You can't even go to the grocery store without being scared. Like, someone could have a fucking gun in the grocery store. Like, for real, they need to change the fucking gun laws. Like, that's so fucked up, man. Like, honestly, we need a president that will fix the law to the point where... I'm not saying, like, everybody's crazy or loony or whatever. Like, some of the people that aren't, you know, all the way there shouldn't be having guns in the first place. I don't know these people that are letting these, like, people that aren't there getting guns. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, you know those people that aren't, you know, you know, they're mental and, you know, they're, they've, they're not, I'm not gonna say psycho because that's an offensive word, but they're just not all the way right, you know? Like, I don't understand the gun people in the gun stores letting these people getting guns. Like, shouldn't you know the signs of what, you know, people that aren't right, like, the signs, like, of what they give off of their body language? Like, I just don't understand. You're shooting, okay, these people that are shooting other people, they're shooting innocent and killing innocent lives. It's just in fucking insane to me. Like, I don't understand why it hasn't been an issue that's been resolved already. I know it's been a, it's going to be a while for that to be resolved but in this country, in the United States we live in, but I just think it needs to be resolved quicker than it is right now. It's being, it's, it's not, there's nothing, it's not going anywhere at this point right now. I think, like, gun control, I don't, I mean, I'm not really into politics or anything, but honestly, like, you're, you just shot an innocent 22-year-old girl that had no care for the world. She just fucking... She was amazing. Christina Grimmie was, like... I bet the YouTube community is so upset right now because she was a huge inspiration for the YouTube community. She sang her covers on YouTube. She was an amazing person on YouTube. She was one of the most popular people on YouTube at, like, at the time, a couple years ago. And honestly, like, you killed an innocent person. Like, and then that shooter shot himself because he probably felt guilty, like, he's a stupid fucker, and he's a coward, like, yeah, like, it just fucking blows my mind, like, I, I'm, I'm done, but, 
I don't know. Like, I just think, like, Christina Grimmie's family is probably in, like, sorrow, and I just feel so bad for them. Like, like, honestly, prayers to you, Grimmie family. Like, I'm praying for you. You're, you, heaven gained an angel this week. Like, let's be real. She was an innocent girl that inspired everybody. Like, she was an amazing artist. She had a beautiful voice, like, for real. That's probably why she won the fucking voice, is because she had a beautiful, you know, singing voice. And she was an amazing artist, and I don't understand. I, I don't get it, but it just blows my mind. I'm praying for the Grimmy family. I hope they're doing well. I know that they're probably not right now because they just lost their child that was 22 years old. Too young to fucking die. Like, honestly, too young to die. Like, that's my age, but two years older than me. Like, that's insane to me. That blows. I I still can't believe it. I'm I'm mind blown, guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, other than that, really, that's really the only things that's been kind of bothering me, really. Um, yeah. Uh, being in the Fifth Harmony fandom, and I um, not, I don't know what else to really talk about. All right. Well, um. Oh, guys, guess what? I found a job. Yes, I'm so excited. And not having a job kind of bothered me too, but I finally have a job now and having, I'm going to have some money and I think probably the other thing that's bothering me probably been is the, like being in school and not knowing what to do yet and I'm 20 already and I need to get my life going already, but that's like a constant thing with me. Like I think about that every damn day in my life, like, excuse me, I think about that every damn day, like I can't get that out of my mind, like what am I going to be? Like, I just don't know. I don't know what to be. Like, I'm going to community college for being in computer science, but I just don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm so confused right now, like, of what to do with my life. Like, I just need to move. I feel like the place I'm living right now is making me, like, it's like, stepping me back like I feel like I'm like getting held back here like I don't like being held back at all like I feel like I need to move out of the state where I'm living right now and move somewhere else I feel like I could get forward somewhere else besides being here like I feel like I'm getting like pushed against this wall and I can't get out and it's just and I've been kind of like in this weird like funk lately so it's been that's probably why, too, I haven't been on YouTube, because because I don't want you guys seeing me unhappy, and I'm usually a happy person, but I've just not been happy with myself lately either, to be honest, so, yeah, um, but I had to get all of that out. I honestly have a headache now because of this, <laughs> but, yeah, um, I'm really tired, um, but I hope that you guys have a good night, and I will try to post more. I'm sorry. I've just been in this weird funk of where not posting on YouTube. I, I don't know. I've just been feeling kind of down on myself. Like, honestly, I need some love on Twitter. Like, you guys should tweet me, like, to cheer me up or something. Because, honestly, I don't know what to do. Like, at this point, I'm just, I don't know. This weird funk. I don't know. There's some days I'm happy, but there's some days I'm not. You know, I don't know. But that's, a, that's probably every day with everybody. But that's not me. It's not just me. But... Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm just rambling at this point now. <laughs> All right, well, um, I will be posting probably sometime soon. I don't know when, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. And I look like I don't have any clothes on. Next time I will put clothes on. I promise I will put a shirt on. I'm just really hot. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. I love you guys, and I hope this video loads but because it's so long. All right, well. I love you, and have a good night, or day, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Tweet me. Woo!